It's anime Parker. Man, today I'm coming at you guys with a summer 2023 anime tier list. Now y'all getting the real Baka, no fake shit, real Baka ratings only. So let's get into the ratings. Bang Dream is my go. Now the name does not sound that great, but guys, it's actually not that bad. I'll probably put in C tier only because the 3D slash CGI. I'm not a big fan of CGI in general, but it actually has a pretty good plot line, pretty good story about these girls who split up in middle school and they had a band and they kind of meet back up in high school and reconnect and reform the band. It's a nice little cute storyline. So, you know, if you like that type of anime, then definitely go ahead and watch it. Bleach. Now, come on, S tier. Bleach is S tier. I don't want to hear nothing about it. Great S only, man. The Squad Zero. Woo! Squad Zero was full of some savages. The next anime we will be talking about is Boom Ghost Ray Dog Season 5. Now, disclaimer, I am not fully caught up on Boom Ghost Ray Dogs, but this season has actually been really, really good. I've seen some snippets online, some, some tweets about it, and I did watch a good couple of scenes here and there, and... I'm just not fully caught up so I didn't want to spoil myself but it's been looking really good. I cannot wait to fully catch up and watch it because I hear really good things about the season. From the things that I have seen from the season it looks really good so if you don't watch Bungo Stray Dogs and you want a new shonen anime to watch definitely watch Bungo Stray Dogs. My show Dark Gathering. Listen man if you're not watching Dark Gathering go watch it man. I just released a video like two weeks ago on Dark Gathering man. It's a really, really good show. I really enjoy Dark Gathering. It's an anime about all these spirits. And one day, when the main character Yayoi was young, her mom got abducted by a spirit. Now that sounds kind of crazy, right? But this girl after that has a vendetta against spirits. And every time she sees a spirit, she abducts the spirit and then tortures it. Like, Yayoi is a savage. This is one of the like literally one of the most left on anime from this season. If you're looking for a new anime, definitely watch this one. Now, next anime we will be talking about is The Dreaming Boy is a Realist. I shout out my homie, man. He put me onto this anime and definitely want to give it an A. Now, the reviews on it are not that great, but if you want something that's like a slice of life slash a romance anime, I highly suggest you watch it. This anime has like, out of all the slice of life animes this season, this anime has my favorite cast of characters just from the slice of life animes. The cast of characters in this anime is so peak. Like there's so many characters that were not the main characters I fully enjoyed and fully rooted for. And the wing girl that's pictured in that picture next to that pink hair girl, she is the MVP of this anime. If you watch this anime, and you wanted the main character to hook up with somebody else that's not his main love interest, then I don't understand why you would watch this anime because it's obvious that every romance anime, he always hooks up with his main love interest. He's not going to just flip to someone else, which a lot of people wanted him to flip to someone else. But me, I knew he was going to meet with this girl the whole time. And I really did enjoy the relationships that he built with the other girls in the season. And I really did enjoy all the characters, even some of the dudes, because they're really, really funny characters. I really hope that there is a season two because it's a really, really good anime. Now, next on the list, we got Eden Zero season two. Man, Eden Zero. It would be an S if the animation was just a little bit better, but I thought the season was really good. And I read the manga for Eden Zero, and I promise it's only up from this point. The manga content is so good right now. And it's like, I feel like this is going to be one of the best shows in a couple years. It's going to be up there with the JJKs and the Mashoku Tenseis. Man, Eden Zero is one of my favorite anime. And if you want a good shonen to watch that has a lot of depth to it, then definitely watch Eden Zero. Now, the next anime on the list, we got Fog Hill of the Five Elements. Now, I want to give it an A or an S. But the reason I'm not is because the subtitles in this anime are so bad. 
and it's because this is like an original net animation meaning that it's not produced by a big studio but this anime has fire visuals the fight scenes are so so amazing if the subtitles were done right i would easily give it an a or an s now the next anime we got is the girl i like forgot her glasses and it wasn't my favorite slice of life but it definitely was one of the better ones and i would give it a b maybe a c i'll probably give it a c i really like the main girl in the show but the main dude rubbed me the wrong way i didn't really like how passive he was at times he definitely grew some balls towards the end of the show but it definitely was a really really wholesome show and it had a lot of really good moments now the next anime we have is helk man helk i would give it an a i'm gonna put it at b man helk is so funny it is actually a really really funny anime it's all about this dude who's a human who ends up joining a demon tournament to decide the next demon lord the main organizer of the tournament is thinking like why is this dude joining this tournament is he setting us up but the dude really does not like humans and it's all about figuring out what turned him off from humans every week it was just a really funny episode there's so many scenes that's gonna have you dying laughing the next anime we're talking about is Hormia, The Missing Pieces. I would say it's an A, a staple slice of life slash romance anime right now. It has a lot of fans, a lot of people love this anime. And it's for a lot of good reasons, great visuals, great characters. If you're looking for a fun show to watch that's just nice and wholesome, Hormia is the anime for you. Now, let's get to some peak. JJK is the next S anime on my list. Now listen, I don't gotta say much about JJK. JJK is fire. It's one of the best new gen anime right now. This season has been nothing short of amazing. And it's one of the anime that's carrying this new gen of anime right now. Ushoku Tensei is my next S anime. Now listen, I understand that people did not like this season because it was kind of like a slice of life. There wasn't much action figuring out the main character's feelings and how he felt abandoned from last season. And he's trying to fix that abandonment issue he had. I really did enjoy his growth. I know that all the character growth from this season is going to lead to an amazing next season. I promise to stick through it if you don't like slice of life anime and really enjoy season one of Shoku Tensei. Just stick through it because I promise you it only goes up from here. Now boys and girls we have our first e rating anime in level one demon lord and one room hero now this anime i know there's probably people who love it and enjoyed how funny it was but to me i really did not like it it was basically fan service to the fullest all it was was fan service and the main hero a really strong hero and now he's a bum because the world kind of just left him behind i hated him as a main character i did not like him i just after the first three episodes after three episode rule watch three episodes of an anime and if you don't like it drop it and that's exactly what i did i dropped it it is utter garbage of an anime the next anime we have on our list is liar liar now liar liar would definitely be a c or a b i want to put it at a c right now it was really enjoyable me i like those type of shows where it's like at a school setting and everybody's rank is off that classroom of the elite vibe which i really do enjoy that anime i really wanted to enjoy this anime as well it's just that it kind of felt a little bit short of my expectations the main cast characters were cool it really did have a lot of potential but at the same time it felt very generic yes did i enjoy it hell yeah i enjoyed it you know i really did like it but did it like beat any of these other anime up here definitely not but it is a fun show to watch if you like those cool setting anime then definitely go watch liar liar now the next anime on our list is malevolent spirits malevolent spirits is one of my favorite anime i remember when it first dropped like two seasons ago and i promise this is like one of the most underrated anime and what i really did enjoy about it is that it really combined the romance element with those type of shonen style fights. The cast of characters, I'm really big on the cast of characters being fun. All the characters in the anime are really cool. They have their own personalities. Yes, 
the main character can be kind of bland but at the same time his blandness kind of promotes everyone else in a way and there's a lot of depth behind the show there's a lot of weight behind it there's a lot of things you need to figure out throughout the show that's a lot of plot points that they have to get through this is one of my favorite anime from this season honestly if it had better animation and more money behind it this would easily be an s tier show the next anime is masamune kun's revenge r I'll probably put it at a C. It's definitely not better than these three anime before it. It has a nice storyline, nice characters, but that's kind of it. It's kind of just another generic anime. The next anime, I like to call it Big Cat, but the official title is My Masterful Cat is Depressed Again. Now listen to me. S. It's an S show. Now you're probably thinking, I didn't watch this show. What's it about? This worker lady and one day she finds a cat outside that's been abandoned. She brings it home and it's a small little cat. And the small little cat thinks, I don't want to be with this person. He's kind of bummy. But this person grows on him and eventually the cat has to clean up after all of her messes. And this caused the cat to get really big in size because he's doing all this manual labor and trying to like clean up her apartment, make her food and do this, that and the third. And the reason why I say it's an S is because this anime is pure wholesome. And every time I put on an episode, I always think to myself, man, that's a great episode. Every episode is an adventure. And I can't wait for next week. The next anime up on our list is My Happy Marriage. Another S. I know some people didn't like the fact that it had too many fantasy elements and not enough romance in it. For me, I love that. I love the nice combination we had where we got the romance and then we got those really cool fight scenes. I'm a big stickler for animation and the animation was so good. It literally left my jaw on the Floor. The animation was so nice. The storyline was amazing. Yes, there were times where it was kind of predictable, but did that make me enjoy the anime any less? No, because I really did enjoy the season of My Happy Marriage, and I cannot wait for season two. If you are curious about season two of My Happy Marriage, I will post the link above. Click on it, and I'll give out more information on season two. The next anime we have is My Tiny Senpai. Now, I'm gonna put it at B because the cast of characters, you know me, I'm big on the cast of characters. And this anime had a really good cast of characters. Such an enjoyable watch. Yes, the etchiness of it was a little bit too much, but I really loved the dynamic that these four had in the office. And it was really nice to have grown ups in it, not just high schoolers or middle schoolers, but actual grown ups. We have Something that is hot garbage. And by hot garbage, I mean hot garbage. The next anime is called Reborn as a Bending Machine. Why would I want to watch someone reborn as a vending machine? Isekais have gone too far. Too far. This anime is hot garbage in the last year i stopped watching isekais all these long ass titles and just boring premises the only way i would recommend this anime is if you love isekais and if you love isekai trash then this is isekai trash at the purest form that's all i'm gonna say the next anime we have rent a girlfriend season three now i usually will put season one or season two as a B. But season three, oh my god. I feel like season three was just recycled material from season one and season two. Hey, let's see how many seasons we can make. Why would I care about making a movie for the main girl when she does not do anything to advance the relationship that the two main characters has? There's a scene where she says, yeah, do I like him? No. But do I not like him? No. What do I get from that? You know that GTA meme that says, here we go again? That's literally this anime. Because you're just falling into the trap of watching every episode. The next anime we have Roroni Kenshin. Now, I'm putting this at an S. This anime takes the original and just makes the original even better. I really enjoy this anime. It's a classic shonen. This anime is top tier in every level. I fully enjoyed watching this anime. 
Now, the next anime we have Seven Spellblades. Man, generic anime to the fullest. I did not like it. I'm not gonna waste y'all time. Generic. Let's move on. Generic Isekai. I did not like it. Next, The Devil is a Part Timer. It takes season one and just lowers the animation quality. Would I recommend it based off season one? No. Are the jokes still funny? Yes. But does it improve on what season one does? No. The next anime we have, Undead Murder Force. Now, this anime is an S tier. Honestly, I probably will put it maybe like right there. This anime was so good. The level of details that every time they have a case, that they're just going and breaking it down. Man, I love detective anime and it takes that and pushes it to another level man this anime was so good undead murder force is one of the best animes from summer 2023 and i definitely recommend if you have not watched it you need to do yourself a favor and watch it one of the best anime this season so i'm gonna make it quick with the last anime s tier the only bad thing about this anime is production delays we're on an infinite hiatus alert that basically means we don't know when we're getting the next episodes. Am I sad about that? Yes. But will I watch it when it comes back out? Hell yeah. One of the best anime from the season. Probably my favorite anime from the season. Probably after JTK. But such a refreshing anime from all the anime we've been getting the last year. Thanks for watching. I watched a lot of anime this year. So if you watched to the end, comment what your favorite anime was and smash that like button and definitely subscribe because it took a lot of work to watch all these anime. I really enjoyed watching all these anime so I can make this video. So if you're a big fan of anime, definitely smash that subscribe button and like the video. It's anime. Parker. Signing out.